Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to discuss about the sum of the interior and exterior angles of a polygon. So what is the interior or the exterior angles of a polygon? So when we say interior angles of a polygon, these are the angles formed by the consecutive sides of a polygon. Exterior angles of a polygon are the angles formed when the side of a polygon is extended. So for example, we have this figure. These angles are the interior angles and these angles are the exterior angles. Now, these are the things to remember. The sum of the interior angles of any polygon having end sides is 180 degrees quantity n minus 2. The measure of an angle of a regular polygon having end side is given by 180 degrees quantity n minus 2 all over n. The sum of all the different measures of the exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degrees. All exterior angles of a regular polygon are congruent. The measure of one exterior angle of a regular polygon having end side is 360 degrees over n. Now let's have this example number 1. As you can see, each interior angle has its measures and one of the angle is x. So to get the value of x, first we must get the sum of the interior angle. So we use the formula 180 degree quantity n minus 2 wherein n is the number of sides. So count the number of sides in this figure. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 sides. So we are going to substitute 6 to n. So we will have 180 degrees quantity 6 minus 2. Now simplify the operation inside the parentheses. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4, so we have 180 degree quantity 4 or times 4 here. So 180 degrees times 4 is equal to 720 degrees. So therefore, the sum of the interior angle of this polygon is 720 degrees. Now, let's find the value of x. Since we already know that the sum of the interior angles of this polygon is 720 degrees, now we are going to add all the measures of each polygon. So it will become 150 degrees plus 88 degrees plus 120 degrees plus 130 degrees plus 140 degrees plus x is equal to 720 degrees. Now add all the whole numbers, so it will become 628 degrees plus x is equal to 720. So if we are going to add these numbers, the answer will be 628. So we are going to apply addition property of equality in this equation, so it will become like this. x is equal to 720 degrees minus 628 degrees. Now simplify. So, 720 degrees minus 628 degrees, the answer is 92 degrees. So, therefore, x is equal to 92 degrees. Okay, so that is the value of x. Now, let's have example number 2. Using the given figure, what is the measure of x? Remember that the sum of all the different measures of the exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degrees so it means if we are going to add all the measures of the exterior angles in this figure the total is 360 degrees now as you can see these two angles even though there is no measure was written we all know that their measure is 90 degrees each because of this symbol and this is the 108 uh, 20 degrees now, we add all the measures of each exterior angles and it should be equal to 360 degrees. So it, will, so, it will become like this. 
90 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 120 degrees plus x is equal to 360 degrees. So we will add this one. So it will become 300 degrees plus x is equal to 360 degrees. So, by applying APE or addition property of equality, it will become x is equal to 360 degrees minus 300. So, therefore, the value of x here is equal to 60 degrees. Now, let's have example number 3. Find the measure of an interior and exterior angle of a regular decagon. So, since in the given, it is a regular polygon, to get the measure of one angle of a regular polygon, we use the formula 180 degrees quantity n minus 2 all over n, where n is equal to the number of sides of a given polygon. We all know that a regular decagon has 10 sides, so let us substitute 10 to n in the given formula. So it will become 180 degrees quantity 10 minus 2 all over 10. Now simplify first the operation inside the parentheses. So 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. Now 180 degrees times 8 is equal to 1440 degrees. Then over 10. So if we are going to simplify 1440 degrees, Divided by 10, so the answer is 144 degrees. So therefore, the measure of an interior angle of a regular decagon is 144 degrees. Now, let us get the measure of one exterior angle of a regular decagon. To get the measure of one exterior angle of a regular decagon, we use the formula 360 degrees over n where n is the number of sides of a given polygon. So now, using this formula, we are going to substitute 10 to n since the number of sides of a regular decagon is 10. So it will become 360 degrees over 10. And if we simplify it, we can get 36 degrees as an answer because 360 degrees over 10 is equal to 36 degree. So, the measure of one exterior angle of a regular decagon is 36 degrees. So, now let's try this. Find the sum of the interior angles of a regular heptagon. And find the measure of an interior angle and exterior angle of a regular nonagon. Now, let's answer question number one. To get the sum of the interior angle of the regular heptagon, we use the formula 180 degrees quantity n minus 2. And remember that heptagon has 7 sides. So we are going to substitute 7 to n. Now simplify first the operation inside the parentheses. 7 minus 2, the answer is 5. So we are going to multiply 180 degrees times 5. So the final answer is 900 degrees. So therefore, the sum of the interior angles of a regular heptagon is equal to 900 degrees. Now, let's answer the question number 2. To get the measure of one interior angle of a regular nonagon, we use the formula 180 degrees quantity n minus 2 all over n. And nonagon has 9 sides. So we are going to substitute 9 to n. So it will become 180 degrees quantity 9 minus 2 all over n. Now simplify first the operation in this uh, given. So yung dito sa, muna tayo sa parentheses. So 9 minus 2, the answer is 7. So it will become 180 degrees times 7 all over 9. So simplify 180 degrees times 7. The answer is 1260 degrees all over 9. Now simplify again 1260 1, degrees divided by 9. So the answer is 140 degrees. So therefore, the measure of one interior angles 
of a regular nonagon is 140 degrees. Now, how about if we are going to get the measure of one exterior angles of a regular nonagon? So, again, we are going to use the formula 360 degrees all over n, where n is the number of sides of a given polygon. So, what is the value of n? n here is 9 because the sides of nonagon is 9. So, 360 degrees divided by 9, the answer is 40 degrees. So, therefore, the measure of one exterior angle of a regular nonagon is 40 degrees. So, that's all for today. Now, it's your turn. Find the sum of the interior angles of the given polygon. And also, find the value of x. If you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson, illustrate a circle and the terms related to it. Thank you for watching. Happy learning, everyone.